I have my code here from lab 2 and I'm going to run it. See what comes out on the serial monitor. So that's just what I was expecting, some data values like we got before. I'd like to incorporate the ability to also make a measurement with an accelerometer like the LIS3DH that I got from Adafruit. I installed the libraries already using sketch, include library, manage libraries, and now I'm going to open up an example and see if I can use those libraries with one of the example files. So I'll choose File, Examples, and down here is the Adafruit LIS3DH library and this demonstration Excel demo. So let's try that and see if it compiles. Doesn't seem to be getting any output. I better get the speed right. 9600 baud is set here. So I could either change it here or I could change it over here. Let's make it 115.2, just like we've been using in all of our other sketches. So that worked. It's producing some integer numbers here. I'm not sure what they mean. But these numbers over here are obviously meant to be accelerations in meters per second squared. And if I move the accelerometer around, those values change depending on the orientation of the accelerometer as it moves. So these are the numbers I'd like to get in my own code. So let's go back and figure out what parts of this demonstration code we need in order to get that capability. Well, what's it doing in the setup? Don't know what that's about. It's starting the serial port and printing some stuff. And then it's doing a begin for the LIS. That's probably about getting the sensor to work. So I'm going to copy that and put it in the setup over here and compile. LIS was not declared in this scope. I guess LIS is some kind of a variable. Was it declared in the demo program? There it is. Adafruit LIS 3DH. So it is one of those sensors, and that's the object. That's where it's declaring the variable. So let's copy that code. And it was outside of the setup. It was just in the initialization code. So let's put it up here. And now compile. Adafruit LIS3DH does not name a type. But it worked over here. We must be missing something. It comments. There's these defines, but it says there for SPI, and we're using I2C. There's some include files. That looks like the libraries we just installed, so maybe we better have those includes for the libraries. So I'll copy that, put it in up above there, see if it compiles. Oh, got a different error this time. I'm missing a semicolon for the end of that line. Well, it compiled successfully with the initialization code. Let's see what else we need. Um, Oh, it looks like it's setting the range here to 4Gs. That's probably the range we're interested in, too. So I'm going to copy that and put that in here. And that compiled successfully, too. So that should initialize everything. Then let's look at the rest of the demo. This was the loop it was going around and around. It was printing out those integer numbers that we couldn't really interpret. And then it was printing out those numbers, accelerations in meters per second squared. Those are the numbers we want. So it's this event acceleration X, event acceleration Y, and Z. So we'd like to have that as part of our printing down here, wherever we're printing stuff out. Oh, but they're not declared. Where did they come from? This event is declared up here. And then it's filled with values there with this LIS get event. That seems to be what's happening. So I better put that in the action part of my sketch. So make some measurements there. It compiles. Let's try uploading. Putting it all on one line. It's because I forgot to make that one give us a new line. So now we've got the same values that we were getting before with our 
uh, lab 2 solution plus three acceleration values in meters per second squared. And they change around depending on how I set up the accelerometer with its axes aligned with gravity. So that's the process I would follow to incorporate the capabilities of this demo program into another sketch uh, that, I, that I would like to have uh, some additional data in. You can follow the same process to take the uh, demo program for your pressure transducer and incorporate that capability into your lab 2 sketch.